four years. 18,000 nautical miles. 29 countries and counting. This is. This is. This is. Sailing Catamaran Element. What's up? River water. River water? <laughs> well, where are you? We're at the Blue Eye Springs, I think. Okay. In Albania. In Albania. What do you think of Albania thus far? Turkey and Greece mixed together. Okay. What do you think of Saranda and stuff? Really do you like hot. it? It's hot. <laughs> it's quite even hot here. This will be refreshing to see. So this behind us is the Blue Eye Bar and Restaurant that they've set up. It is 9.30 in the morning and it's smoking hot. Yeah? Already. Now it feels old. These butterfly things are kind of tough with the uh, dragon fly. Dragon fly climbing. Really cool color. <laughs> this is really neat in here. Yeah. It's nice and cool and very, very green. Some of the clear water leading up to the blue eye. So I'm really curious about what the blue eye looks like. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I just did my fingers. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. Shimper on bathing suit. They could be a little chilly, kiddo. So this is the blue hole. This is where all the water is literally coming out of the ground. You can see it swelling up there. Very clear. So the Siri E. Coulter, temperature's 10 degrees Celsius. A little bit chilly for swimming. And uh, so last measured 2005, seven point meters, 7.5 meters cubed per second. Very blue. And the blue hole from the observation point. That's great. So I'm surprised I'm not seeing trout here. It's very clean, lots of food sources. You can see all the blue dragonflies. Those are pretty cool, I have to say. What do you think, Sherry? This is another big really cool. Uh -huh. This is really amazing. I haven't seen, I've never experienced anything like this. Just pulled over on the side of the road just to capture the landscape that we're seeing as we drive to a traditional village in Albania. Gives you an idea what it looks like. The lush green valleys below the drier mountain range. So we're now at the, entering the town of Gio Castra. It's a UNE UNESCO heritage site and it has a castle at the top and it's a traditional Albanian village and town in here. Yeah. All stone roofs on the houses. Yeah, you would not want that to collapse on you. No, but you can see up through here you can see the castle up there. No. <laughs> you just got here. You've just been sitting for the whole ride. It is very warm. Cobblestone streets. Hassan Xikli. Seen several statues of him. So we're at the we've climbed up and come up the, the entrance to the castle. Man doing his carving work. Ah yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Son the color natural. Yeah. Natural stone. Yeah. Into the entrance of the castle. Oh, it is cool. And from nine till eight. 
one of the largest fortresses in the Balkans, perched on cliffs overlooking a principal highway. The site has occupied an important strategic position for centuries. Tickets? Okay. So 200 lek? Yes, 400. For, 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 uh, for the adult children, no? Yes, free. Free? Free? Perfect. Okay. Let me get it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We don't. We can't see. We can't see. No, we don't have that. That's extra. Oh. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Oh wow. I was not expecting to see artillery inside a castle. It's a question for my buddy Mark. Why would a US Air Force old jet be displayed here at the top of a Albanian castle? What's left of it looks like uh, it's quite possible this thing was shot down once upon a time. Not much left of the tail, but definitely US markings. So we're now, we're now coming down the stairs that we just climbed up to the castle. Yeah. It's a little bit cooler. A little bit cooler? A little bit. Yes. Well, there's some shade here. There isn't too much shade going down the road method. No, that's why I chose the stairs. Yeah. Lovely. Kinda. Yeah, it is, it is lovely through here. There's an amphitheater here, and in the background you can see some of the stone homes. Reminds me a lot of the architecture that we saw in Strasbourg. They're doing open air theaters like they are in Saranda. It's great. Another view of our mooring spot in Saranda, Albania. We're in a commercial harbor next to the ferries. Sun setting's a really beautiful evening here on the beachfront. And we'll go for a walk later. All the families come out. It's quite quiet during the day and all the shops are usually closed. Here? This is this is That's right. That's right. And we left out of here. And we came up here. Sorry, to there. But yeah, we took this road out through here. And went and saw at the old village today. So here's a... Uh, Saranda summer tours and they are agents for coming into Albania and greeted us at the dock and we also got our rental car from them. You having a good day today? Okay good. Pretty empty in here. <laughs> okay see you later. The steps leading down to the waterfront. There's a shepherd protecting the building materials in this yard over here. Makes himself well known. Hi Sherry. Hello. Albanian so, beer. Ah, Tirana. A large bottle. bottle. <laughs> Sherry size. <laughs> so now that you've been, you know, in Albania for a few days, how are you feeling? Good. Better, actually. Uh, it just took me a couple days to get used to the feel of a new country, but after renting a car and driving through, um, really, really nice. I highly recommend coming. It's it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's up and it's coming. Very too. comfortable. Yep. Yeah. 
take two. Take two. <laughs> I forgot to mention it's really warm and well, sticky, <laughs> humid. Some people like sticky. <sighs> yes, we have power, so we have all the fans going and enjoy cold showers. This is one time I'm not complaining about cold showers. Any other comments about the water and how it works here? Yes, it, it kind of pees, it pills. <laughs> and then sometimes the hose gets lots of pressure and then no pressure and yeah. And they shut it off for certain parts of the day. Yeah, they have it in, on in the morning and then they shut it off until four, sometimes five. It's really, you know, Albanian time. Kind of like Greek time and Turkey time. Saranda waterfront at night and it goes all the way down various different types of restaurants beach bars and nightclubs some hotels and things this is the <laughs> Albanian waterfront beginning of its nightlife busy tonight it's one of the busiest nights I've seen thus far oh really yep Lit up fishing boat, goes around the harbor, plays music. Uh, so after early morning departure this morning from Saranda, uh, we headed north. We had a really good northeast wind early in the morning. It was really hard to get away from the dock because we were being blown around quite a bit. Uh, but once we got out of the harbor, um, we put out the foresail and we were cruising along uh, between seven and topped out around nine knots, with about 21 knots of breeze. And now we're in Vlora Harbor and we're right up against where the Vlora Ferry is. And they're about to depart in a few minutes. And then there'll be no more ferries here for us today, but we've got all fendered up along here to make sure that the ferry wash doesn't damage the boat. And as you can see, this is not exactly a yachting facility. It is a full commercial harbor. And we're just tied up with the big tires and made sure we grabbed a spot that doesn't have the steel wire sticking out and things like that. And all the kids up on the ferry looking down at us. Two hours later, while eating at a street cafe just down the road, Sean noticed a wind direction change and wanted to quickly return to Element. When we returned, Two other sailboats had tied up closely behind us and a short period swell greater than a meter had entered the commercial harbour. This made Element's bow go airborne and heave violently against the solid concrete wharf which caused chafing through five of our six mooring lines in 30 minutes. I was unable to film because I was quickly cutting ten new mooring lines to re-secure Element to a ship's bollard. The result was a spider web of lines allowing Element to move smoothly with the swell. Sean and I would monitor the new mooring lines from the cockpit until things calmed down around 1 in the morning. The next morning, we departed as quickly as possible and set sail for the coastal town of Shenzhen. Morning, Sherry. Hello. What you doing? Tendering up so we can go into port. Where? Shenzhen, Albania, our last stop before we head to Montenegro. Ah. Huh. We came here, we did a 92 mile long day, 14 hour trip, uh, and we got here just after sunset, so it was just after nine. And we, instead of going into the port that the port actually wanted us to go into, it was too dark, very poorly lit. We spun around and it was quite windy. We just decided to come over here and anchor. And uh, it's, Shenzhen is very popular for its beaches, as you can see. So I'm looking forward to going for a walk down the promenade. And there was rides going on last night and merry-go-rounds and things you can see off in the distance. and. The local boaters are coming out and using us as kind of a pylon to go around. So here in the commercial port of Shenzhen, you can see the beach district in the distance, with all the umbrellas and the people in the water. Looks like a nice day to be out today. It's about 11 in the morning, and that lovely sound you hear is our genset, a little portable one that came with the boat. It's running because there's no power or water here. And uh, after I noticed we weren't charging that efficiently, I did a bunch of tests and three out of six of our solar panels are no longer functioning. These are six solar panels 
that have already been replaced under warranty. They're made by uh, Sino Sola. They were 150 watts. Uh, last year we had them put on brand new and within eight months five out of six had failed. So now already within we, Sherry and I, put the new ones on that we got replaced. We got them done in, uh, you see we got them in I think on April and I've disconnected some of them now but uh, if you're considering buying these this is what they look like Sinosola don't bother so we just took a small minibus into the town of Lesha was really 10 minutes from Shenzhen our book said it was a village but it's you know it's it's I would say it's a pretty modern town and it's got a river going through it and some cafes and bistros along the side here and uh, there's a castle up on the hill so we're walking across the bridge here into town where the bus drops you off just a small minivan bus and take yourselves in Hi. So my wife has a beer and fresh cherries. Paige is shoving a face with a apricot? No, not a, a nectarine. And now you've bought, you're not even finished the nectarine. And you've bought this ring thing. And what do you think, Sherry? This is really cool. I get my food delivered to me here. Mm hmm. Someone goes and buys the beer. Beer for us, yep. Yeah. We're set. And Jordan can go way the heck out there. Yeah, it's uh, very shallow water. It's all sand. You know, it's not white sand or anything. But it's, it's nice. It's soft brown sand. It's umbrellas all the way down. You can see it's very busy here. Very friendly. Oh, another guy. He's got those with icing on them. <laughs> you got burned, Paige. <laughs> yeah, no, this is good. Good family fun. We'll hang out here. I mean, you've got to kill time outside the Schengen zone. Mm -hmm. What greater place to do that here than... than Shenzhen, Albania. Next time on Element. We explore coastal Montenegro, but find chartered anchorages in our pilot guide have been blocked off for swimming. So we tie up at the expensive marina at Budva and explore the historic tourist village. We then set sail for the beautiful bay of Kotor. We make an early start on a hike to the fortress for panoramic views. And we wander through the ancient walled town.